Check, 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 check. Anybody in the building? Check one, two, check one, two. What the world is this? Yeah, here we go. Check one, two. Let me check all systems ago. Anyway. Let me play one of my songs. Let me see. Let me see. Let me play one of my songs that I like. All right, family. All right. We back in the building. We back in the building. We back in the building. I hope y'all be with me maybe tomorrow. I think I got a special show tomorrow. I don't know if y'all. Ah, man. I, I, I'm trying out some new stuff. It's like I'm a rapper and I'm trying out new songs or a comedian trying out new material. But I got something real heavy that I'm going to drop tomorrow. Uh, I, I was going to do a pre-record. But, man, I might have to do it live, man, just to show you in real time, you know, exposing a major. Where y'all at? A major. Uh, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Catastrophe. Look at you. Make sure where y'all at. How y'all doing today, family? Uh, yeah, we're going we gonna to talk about this, Diddy. You know, the um, European got locked up today. I mean, not today. He got locked up. I think it was the other day, actually. Um, he flew under the radar. And you know when they when they get them Europeans, uh, they usually get them to uh, to get everybody else in line. Let me line everybody else up. Hold on. Let me make sure I share this. Peace and love, family. Let me make sure I share this real quick before we get started. Yeah, but um, so they line, they line everybody else up. Um, let me see real quick. Let me, y'all doing good today? How y'all doing? Yeah, they align everybody else up. You know what I mean? All right. So let me see something real quick. Everybody in the building? <laughs> Where you at? Look at you. All right, I'm working on something real quick. Give me one second. Working on a little something real quick. Give me one second. Give me one second, and then we're going to get it. We're going to get it hitting real quick. What's up, the original people? How you get in the building today? What you doing in the building this time of evening? You know you don't come in the building this time of evening. You know good and well, you don't come in the building this time of evening. Let me see something real quick. Bam. All right. Yeah, the original people know good and well, he don't get in here this time of evening. All right. All right, let me see. Bam. How's everybody doing? Yeah, this going to be a little bit heavy. This going to be a little bit heavy. Let me see. So, family, what I'm doing is. Let me save it like that. All right. Here we go. I'll change it up on y'all for a second. <laughs> I was just testing something. Um, I was testing something real quick. So, so sometimes I'm going to put members only on here. Um, so, so we don't get caught up with the, um, we don't get caught up with the trolls, but anyway, family, welcome to another edition of Morris World TV. How y'all doing? I feel a little bit crooked. All right. I feel straight right now. I feel a little bit straight right now. Hold up. All right. I feel a little bit better. I feel a little bit better, a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, family. So, so, so we're about to get into this, man. This is a crazy situation. Have y'all heard uh, uh, about uh, Diddy people get locked up? What up? What up? Hope Owens L. <laughs> Have y'all heard about Diddy people's getting locked up? The European. Let's get right into it, family. The European. <laughs> Thanks, GS, for turning the chat on. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. I was testing something out because sometimes I'm going to take this chat off because I know we're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and the and the people are going to troll. So so um 
we going to test out a few things, you know what I mean, and see how I roll. We're going to test out. But did y'all realize, the, who is this guy? Now, listen, the funny part about this is that I spoke on this guy. I spoke on this guy uh, probably last week. And, in fact, let me see if I can pull it up. And I'll pull up the whole file. I spoke on him last week uh, when I pulled out the file, and I didn't read the whole file. But anyway, he recently got locked up right here. You know what I'm saying? He got booked. You know what I'm saying? And he got two $25,000 bonds. Um, and I think he's out now. I think he's out now. But, yeah, he got booked. But you know what happened? You know what happened? When they book, once they book him, you know what it is. When they book him, you already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Now watch this. Now watch this though. Um, I told y'all, and this was this was probably, I'm pretty sure it was last week sometime. But let me see if I can find it real quick. Here it is. I pulled this document from the charge paper right here that I have. I have the full charge paper. And he is named in this. Uh, I'll go up to the top. It says the chiefs of staff defended Koram uh, was instrumental in organizing and executing the RICO enterprise. Defendant Koram had following individuals execute the following task for the RICO enterprise. Stevie J recruits the workers and attends and participates in freak offs. Justin Combs solicits the prostitutes, underage girls, and workers would engage in freak off. And Brandon Paul works as Mr. Combs' mules. He hires and distributes Mr. Combs' drugs and burners. Um, and and this is the thing. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, we getting straight in the business right here. That's right. This is the type of research uh, that the Morse World TV citizens provide us with, so we can provide it to you. You know what I mean? Um. So, so look at this though. At the bottom, people, people asking, uh, uh, well, why did Homeland Security come? And I was interested in that question myself. And so I looked it up and I found out that Homeland Security is in charge of the X trafficking part. You know what I mean? That's not necessarily what the federal um, FBI deal with. The Homeland Security is they oversee the, fe the, the the trafficking part. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and many people, because I thought that was odd too. I thought that was odd too, but, you know, that is one of their duties. And I found out that Homeland Security is actually over the FBI. Did you know that? I mean, as it relates to authority and power and things and the way that they can move. Do you know what I'm saying? So that was surprising to me, too. That was actually surprising to me, too. But um, I was talking to I was talking to somebody today and they were saying to me, they were saying to me like, um, uh, well, you know. They didn't lock him up. He's not locked up yet. And I say, well, listen, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they have everything that they need. I'm almost guaranteed that they have everything that they need. You know what I'm saying? They have everything that they need. And only thing they trying to do is corroborate. Am I saying it right? Corroborate. You know, you know, I'm from I'm from a place where I mess words up. I'm these they just trying to corroborate what they have. Now, the thing is, is that when you read the the charging, I mean not the charging document, he hasn't been charged. When you read the lawsuit, this guy, the the producer says, we have recording of all of this, and we will provide it to the court. You see what I'm saying? He said, we have video of Mr. Combs, Stevie J, and Plaintiff Jones at the strip club. Mr. Combs is recording the video while coaching and training Plaintiff Jones how to recruit the workers. You see? You see what I'm saying? So, it's not like they don't have what they need. What it is is they're just trying. You know, when the feds do something, they're going to do it thorough and they're going to make sure that it can be corroborated. It's, it's going down. It's going down. Now, 
this this guy here, Brandon, as they say in this document, Brandon Paul, he was the mule. He kept he kept the uh the drugs flowing according to the charge not the charging document, according to the lawsuit. But you know the ironic thing about that? When they picked up Brandon in Miami, when they picked him up in Miami at the airport, the, the allegedly him and Diddy was a oh he was about to get on a plane. They said that it's a report that him and Diddy was stopped. Do you know I mean before they got on the plane? Somebody asked what happened to Russell Simmons. We got to get Russell Simmons tomorrow. I'm trying to get these updates in. We got Russell tomorrow. We got Russell tomorrow. Do you know what I mean, a brother told me he was wanted to come on and say a few things about the case, but he didn't come through. I think people scared of Morris World TV. You know what I mean, yeah. So, so at the end of the day, I got Russell tomorrow. I got Russell Simmons tomorrow. I got all the the the, the new stuff on Russell. Russell Russell on the, on on a lamb too, for real, for real. But yeah, so they got him. They got him, and you know, you know what he gonna do? He he, he nine times out of ten. You know what I mean, nine times out of ten, he gonna lay it all out. He gonna lay it all out. And 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 and, and isn't it ironic? I guess it's not really ironic. I guess it is what it is that he is the one um, that's mentioned in the lawsuit. And here is the picture that the guy provided in the lawsuit. You see what I'm saying? Ain't that ain't that something? This is the same one in the lawsuit. Hold on one second. I can let me see if I can pour, turn to the page for you real quick. Let me see if I can turn to the page for you real quick. Bam. Let me get out some of these. Let me get some of these windows out of here real quick. One second. Let me get out of here real quick. Hold up. Let me get out of here. All right. So, family, hit your thumbs up for me. Thank you so much. I'm just trying to X these windows out because I got a lot of information I want to share with you. Updates, that is. Let me, uh, let me see if I can. All right, let me. Now, here is the, because we're going to go over this lawsuit too. So let me go over some of it. We're going to go over some of it. All right, let me see if I can. Let me see, window. Hmm. What's going on? And I'm tripping. I don't even know how to pull my thing up no more. I'm tripping. <laughs> now I'm trying to find how to show this um show this window real quick. Source there it is. Nope. Nope. Oh, we got that. Stand by. Let me try something real quick. I ain't got no room up in here. That's what's going on. I got too much going on. There we go. There we go. All right. Window capture. There it is. There it is. I got it right there. All right. Give me one second. I did it. I did it. There it is. There it is right there. There it is right there. That's what I wanted to show you. All right. Let me pull it in for you. I want to read some of this off to you real quick. Let me. I want to read some of this off to you real quick so you can actually know what's happening around here. Because uh, it's a guy that says that if this stuff is true, Diddy is gone under the jail. That's what he says. So let me move this around. Here get a charging paper right here. All right, let me pull me all the way up to the top. Bam. Put me over here. Family, I hope y'all take my class when I give it. I'm going to teach a class on how to do this. 
uh, is live streaming and stuff. So here we go. Um, again, this is the guy Brandon. The guy Brandon is right here, if I'm not mistaken. Let me show you Brandon real quick. I'll bring in another one for you. That's Brandon right there. That's him right there. You know what I mean? That's him right here. However, man, they this is how this is how how hard they going right now. This is how hard they going. Frankie Centella and Sean Combs. Moy Bond hire ex workers attends participants, attends and participates, I'm sorry, in free golfs. Vice President of Music Management and Strategic Partnership, Vice President of Music Management and Strategic Partnership, uh, Combs Global. Let me tell you something. In this demonstration here, they are naming everybody. They ain't playing. One second. Is this it? I think I got it. Yeah, they not playing. They are naming everybody. Give me one second. I'm trying to get used to this real quick. Hold up, I got something in my way. I got something in my way because y'all ain't seeing the full screen. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get all this stuff out of my way. Make sure y'all see the full screen here. There it is. Make sure y'all see this full screen. Yeah. So 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 yeah. Brandon, about the Brandon is, is is about to lay somebody down. I'm pretty sure. Um. But it says, let's read some of this. Mr. Combs funded and used his affili his affiliation with local gang and gang leaders who would frequent his homes in L.A. and Miami to secure the drugs and guns he obtained and distributed out of his homes in L.A. and Miami. Now, family, go figure this, right? You talking about the death of Tupac. You talking about, listen to this, you talking about the death of Tupac, the East and West Coast beef, and Puffy has a home in Los Angeles. It's years later, of course. He has a home in Los Angeles, and... It is said that he has the gang members supplying the, the contraband. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? On the back end of the death of Tupac about an East and West Coast beef. I'm telling you, some of this stuff is stranger than fiction. It said defendants executed their RICO enterprise. And now this person that's filing a lawsuit, he calls this joint his lawyer, I guess, writes this as if he is the prosecutor. It says the defendants execute their RICO enterprise with threats of violence, threatening to eat plaintiff's face. Don't that sound familiar? My man, guy said, I want to eat you. Threatening to eat plaintiff's face, displaying and, distri and distributing burners in plaintiff's, plaintiff's presence, bragging about having law enforcement under control, bragging about murdering people, and bragging about bribing witnesses and jurors in criminal case concerning the 1999 New York City nightclub shooting with Shine. Remember Jennifer Lopez and Sean? Yeah. Yeah. So so when so when we look at that, the 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 the, the homeland security went to the house or to the houses and they haven't locked anybody up, that don't mean that they ain't got nothing. That don't mean that they don't have nothing. What that means is that they're still piecing this puzzle together. 
It says defendant executed their RICO enterprise with threats of isolation from the music and entertainment industry. Par parading powerful music industry executive such as defendants Lucerian, Luc Lucian uh, Charles Grange, Ethiopian Habtamarian at his parties filled with ex-workers, minors, and illegal drugs such as ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, marijuana, mushroom, and I, I don't know the name of some of this stuff. What's up, Stephen X? They, it's, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, fam. Fam, we got Stephen X back in the building. I don't know if they took him off of restriction and now he can come back, but we ain't seen Stephen X in a minute. That is our mod from the NOI, and we know that NOI get mad at me sometime, and I, I don't know what they did to my brother Stephen X. Are you okay, brother? Have you been debriefed? Is everything all right? I'm glad to see you back, my brother. I, I, I'm excited that you're back. Is everything good? <laughs> That's my bro. Anyway, it says, let me, let me, oh, I need to go some more. We're just going to read a little bit more, and I want to show you something. Defendants executed their RICO enterprise with threats of non-payment for work completed. Fake promises of cash payments, 250000 producer of the year Grammy Awards and guaranteed access to future projects. Listen, family, this guy's saying that you can even become producer of the year if you play the game with these people. It says you be can become producer of the year. Producer of the year's uh, uh, of the Grammy Awards and guarantee access to future projects and $20 million home on Star Island in Miami. This guy, he ain't playing. He telling it all. One more drink, he gonna tell it all. You know what I mean? He says, hold up, I'm gonna blank that out. Get that out of there. That's why I can't see, because I got it up too high. All right. All right, there we go. Let's move me right here. It says, Mr. Jones believes. Hold up. Is that too much? I think I'm doing too much. Hold up. Let me make sure because y'all need to see this. I don't think y'all seen this before. Here we go. My bad. There we go. There we go. It says, Mr. Combs allowed to wreak havoc while living and traveling with Mr. Combs. Mr. Jones discovered that Mr. Combs have has hidden cameras in every room of his homes. Mr. Jones believed that Mr. Combs has recording of defendants Lucy and Charles Grange. So they looking for them cameras. They looking for them cameras. Um, Ethiopian um, had to marry him as well as other celebrities, music label executives, politicians, and athletes. Family, this is, uh, this is another Epstein demonstration here. Upon information and belief, these individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent, and as is the case with the H actual X tape of Stevie J that Mr. Combs provided to Mr. Jones, Mr. Combs possessed compromising footage of every person that attended his freak-off parties and his house party. Whew! This is some crazy stuff. And this is what they're looking for. It got to be what they're looking for. Upon information and belief due to the treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession... Mr. Combs believe that he is above the law and is untouchable. Upon information and belief, Mr. Combs employs Jose Cruz as his IT director. This writer has spoken to several former employees of Mr. Combs who confirms that Jose Cruz is the gatekeeper of all of Mr. Combs' recordings. Upon information and belief, 
Jose Cruz intentionally hides behind the camera and from social media and the internet due to all the incriminating acts he was required to record for Mr. Combs. Family, this stuff is, A. Hey, hey, I'm trying to tell you, it's not a game. It's not a game. Morse World TV presents, you know what I mean? And he gives the guy name here and the phone number. First cause of action, conduct and participate in RICO Enterprise through pattern of racketeering activity violating racketeering influence and corrupt organization act. Mr. Jones incorporates by reference all preceding paragraphs and realleges them as if set forth therein. As responded, Superior defended Lucian Charles Grange, Ethiopian, da, 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 all these people they name it in the, in the, the I ain't going to read all that. Um, but it's amazing how he's filing a lawsuit and accuse him of, of, of RICO. You know what I mean? In a lawsuit. I never knew that you could do that. But, hey, you live and you learn. You know what I mean? You live and you learn. Let me go all the way up top, though. You live and you learn. You know what I mean? I never knew that. I never knew that. You could, you could take a lawsuit on somebody and charge them with RICO. Um, look at Diddy. Diddy looking crazy. Y'all ain't never seen Diddy looking like that. Look at him. Dang, how you get a picture like that of Diddy? How'd that happen? How'd that happen? Ain't that something? Let me pull it up. How'd that happen? Good night, Diddy. Ain't been around the world and now, yeah, yeah. I've been player hated. Good goodness of gracious. Yeah, fraud can be charged as well. Wow. I didn't know all that, man. All right, so look, I want to show you some of this new stuff that I discovered today. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you some of this new stuff that I discovered today. Ain't Diddy. It says defended defended Justin Theo Combs is the son of Mr. Combs and Misa Hilton. Jay Combs was born on all right, they got all of them. That's his sons. Oh, these are the ones that that's that's mentioned in the lawsuit. Oh, they suing everybody. Good night. Anyway, let me go to my next. Let me go to my next uh demonstration real quick. Um But what I discovered, right? I'm going to share it with you in a second. Let me get this out of here because we can go all over that. I got the whole I got the whole file, so we definitely can go over that at another date. But in the meantime, in between time, yeah, they got old boy right here. They got him. They got him. So, But this is what I got, man. Do you know? Let's bring it back. Let's go back. And move it back to the forward. Let's move. Let's let's go back and move it back forward real quick, family. You starting to hear a lot of people talk stuff, and I mentioned Mace last night. I said, you know, what I mean, Mace said the most profound thing that he missed a lot of this stuff when he uh, went to when he joined. He went to church. You know what I mean? Then I thought about it today. You know what I mean? Y'all got to work with me, man. When you get a half a hundred, you forget some stuff. Then I thought about it today. I was like, hold up. Didn't Mace get caught with a, 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 with a train? I was like, hold up. Let me look that up real quick. I remember a story that was buzzing about Mace being caught with a, a, a switch hitter, if you will. You know what I mean? And I be a monkey's uncle and a junkie's friend. I found the story, and they, it's like they was trying to scrub it from the internet. Mace busted with trans during Bad Boy reunion tour. And I remember that story. I was like, that's right. And, that, that, and, 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 and that, it, it's not surprising. So I'm going to throw a picture up in there for you, Mace. 
I remember that story. I was like, yeah. And so I went and researched it because I'm listening to Mace talk. I'm listening to everybody talk. And I'm like, hold up. I remember a story. I told you I was straight hip hop. I know hip hop. I've been following this stuff for years. It said rumors about Mace being a trans tracer have floated around for years. And it seems like the rapper turned pastor turned rapper is back at it again with his love for chicks with sticks. Quote, unquote, please don't uh, 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 hold it to my heart. I'm just reading. Um, it says, our sources tell us during, during a stop on the Bad Boy reunion tour, Puff rented out a couple of floors in a hotel. One of the rooms was for Mace, and our source caught Mace red-handed. Now, hold up. Now, let's read what the source said. Family, listen, all of this, like all of your favorite people going to be exposed when they, when, they, when, they, when they get Diddy. It said, it was there with the former bad boy artist who was staying on the same floor. They may be old, this may be old news, but Mace definitely is a trans chaser. I personally peeped a six foot trans that was not even close to passing, creeping out of Mace room very early in the morning. Woof. Woof. Fam, it's a lot of it's a lot of your superstars that's going to hurt your feelings coming soon. I mean, it's going to hurt your feelings coming soon. Because like I said, like I said, I had to just think about it for a second. And I was like, hold up. Hold up. Was it, was it, was it Mace? One of the ones back in the day that, and now he's up there talking with Cameron. I mean, as if ain't nothing, ain't nothing popping. No, Mace. No, you was one that was accused too. And you never spoke on it. You kind of let that just, just go to the side. And then Cameron talks about how you used to stay in Puffy House. Bro, you got some splaining to do too. See, you got some splaining to do too. See, many people coming up with all these uh, podcasts and, I mean, all that old crazy stuff. But you got some splaining to do too. Man, listen, everybody want to try to get people passes. You know what I'm saying? They laughing. Kick, 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 kick. Everybody want to get people passes. But I don't remember anybody addressing this besides the besides the guy that said he peeped it. You know what I mean? Since the guy said he peeped it. And 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 so here we go. Here we go. Another cover up. Now, because some people got a successful podcast, you know what I mean? Uh, they, I thought about that. I was like, wait a minute. So, yeah. So, yeah, give me one second. Give me one second. Let me grab me a smaller water real quick. Yeah, read this. Read this while I'm, while I'm right here. Let me, let me see. Let me get you one more real quick. Yeah, I'm going to give you all the goods. You know I me? Mean? Yes, I am. There you go. I had to pull out an old article. There you go. Read that. I had to pull out an old one for you. Say what's up with Gene Deal, the bodyguard. I, I'm not sure yet. I think Gene Deal is solid, actually. I think he's solid. I think he's solid. I don't think he don't he doesn't show signs of being Gene doesn't show signs of being compromised at, at this point. Yeah, he does he doesn't show them signs to me. 
to me, he doesn't show them signs of being compromised at this point. It seems to me that Gene uh, possibly is. It seems to me that Gene is pop, just got fed up. It was like, man, you got me a part of this madness, man. I came to to be a uh, 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 protection, and you got me um, in this madness. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Ross Ranger, man, I can't, man, I'm a grand chic. I can't p repeat that stuff, Ross Ranger. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I can't repeat that stuff, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> But listen, though, listen, though, family, stick with the show tonight. Stick with the show tonight. I know I'm a little bit. I got to change. I got to get all the way to the raw stuff in the beginning sometime. Um, But listen to this, family, your favorite rappers. Let's listen to Biggie real quick. Let's listen to, not listen, but let's examine this, man. This all is with Puffy. This all with when he was Puffy. This is Biggie lyrics. We upped in his bed quite dangerous. I'm in that A while he playing for the Utah Jazz. Now, that might could be as a euphorism. Then another rhyme, he says, don't they know my, my ninja gutter effing kidnap kids, bump them in the behind and throw them over the bridge? This is lyrics. A bad boy artist. Ninjas press their luck and get butt straight up the raw dog with the rash. And I don't with condoms. The condoms is a problem from the AIDS getting spread. Come on, man. Come on, man. See, let me tell you something. I write rhymes, right? Am, am I have I have I reached any success? Uh, with 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 the like these rap no absolutely not but I write rhymes there is no way in the world that I'm writing anything like that this was a what song is this one these are different biggie songs the last one I just read was a biggie freestyle I wanted to play it but I don't want to get a strike it's a biggie freestyle that he says that you know what I mean yeah listen the, the I may come back and play the clips another day. You know what I mean? He said, I will put Shante Moore stuff in the stitches. I'll RuPaul before I the ugly escape bees. Bro, why do we have all this LGBT stuff, Biggie? And they try to market him as the greatest of all time. It says, after she, my, I stabbed her brother with the ice pick because he wanted me to, in the back. From the, Come on, man. I can't read this stuff. Yeah, I seen exactly what he said about RuPaul. But after that one, read the next one. When I met you, I forget. I, I admit my first thought was a trick. You look so good I, on your daddies. Like, who would think that's okay? Like, you in the booth, you, 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 you doing one take on this? Yeah, that's dope. Leave that right there. And then, and then look. You know it's all crazy, man. You know it's all crazy. When you re now we look back in hindsight, right? What is the logo for Bad Boy? Anybody know the logo for Bad Boy? Do anybody? Anybody know the know the logo for Bad Boy? It's a little baby. It's a little baby with a hat on, with a diaper. <laughs> And what is that implying? Let me see. Uriah says, let me see what Uriah says. I see Uriah says something. Um, let's see what Uriah says. 
Uriah says, we got to talk more about how poison industry complex and buck breaking infiltrated as in and out of chaos, Novus, NWO, but appearance of silence. Brother, I don't even, you have to really come on the show, uh, Uriah, and break that all the way down. Because for real, I don't know what you're talking about, my brother, with all due respect. And I'm going to look this up. Because I don't know. We got to talk more about the prisoner industrial complex. I know what that is. And buck breaking, infiltrating as in out of chaos and novus. I don't know what that is. But the appearance of solid. I don't know what that is. See, I ain't scared to admit that I don't know what something. I know what the prison industrial complex is. I, I don't know what that other stuff is. I'm be honest with you. I mean. But look, when you look at things in hindsight, you begin to, let me bring out the logo, you begin to examine things a little bit differently. Um, you begin to examine things a little bit differently. Let's take a look at this real quick. This is, it, it, it does make you see things just a little bit more different. I think so, in my eyes, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Take a look at this real quick. Take a look at this. This is the bad boy logo. Oh, I got a different, oh man, my bad, I got the wrong one. This is the bad boy logo. Let me get the right one though. Let me get the right one. The bad boy logo. Here we go. Check this out. That's the logo. Pay attention to that. All right. Look at the logo, right? Now, now, let's associate it. Y'all know I be doing my homework. Now, let's associate it with this, at this party, Diddy is with, and I'm not saying that this is a baby, but this is, according to this post, she says, I am 14 here. This is 2012. Thakun says prime age. See, once it hit the internet, it's a wrap. This person is claiming that she is 14. Look at the guy beside Diddy sizing up the 14 year old European. Listen, all of this stuff is gonna come out soon. All this stuff is gonna come out soon. Like what we thought we seen, we was missing everything. <coughs> we was missing some stuff. But now we look back in hindsight, we start looking like, hold up man, something missing. Stop missing. So, that was a random 14-year-old at a bad boy party. And I say it's ironic that the logo is a baby, a naked baby with a pamper with a hat on and boots on. And we, at, at the time, I mean, I guess we didn't pay that close much to it. We didn't examine as closely as we I mean, I guess we wouldn't break. I guess we wouldn't break down a logo uh, to imply anything. But now, in hindsight, it's saying a whole lot. It's saying a whole lot. Um, when we look at how crazy Britney Spears has gotten uh, back in the day, she also participated in some of the puffy parties. 
Like we thought Puffy was just a regular Harlem dude. Man, he was out there showing out. Look at Britney Spears at a at, 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 at a Puffy party. Like he was really showing out. I never knew all this stuff. I never knew. I never, ever knew. Family, y'all even hear the latest news? This is the latest up to the minute. Prince Harry is now mentioned in the lawsuit. Did y'all hear that? He didn't got the Royals. We thinking that the Royals, we thinking that the European Royals is chilling over there acting all uppity and Harry over here acting a plum fool. He over here acting a plum fool with Diddy. Allegedly. And this, I think this just came out. This was, yeah, this was published this morning. Good goodness of gracious. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and they want to talk about Kate Middleton, the Duchess of this. Man, old days gone, man. Those days are gone. Uh, uh, the Duchess of Royal, the Duchess of 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 Wales, all that man, you forget about that. They over here allegedly are freaking off with Diddy. They acting up. They acting bad. Bad boys for life. He just named the lawsuit, and that's that's new. That just came to light. You know what I mean? That's pretty much new. Hold on. I gotta make sure y'all see me right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, like the, like, like the Royals. They ain't hiding that stuff no more. They ain't hiding it no more. They all out with it. They all out with it now. They hang with Diddy and acting a plum, plum fool. Mm-hmm. Dang man, I ain't never knew all this stuff. The hopes that he always been in the news. I was unaware. I must be out of the loop. Let me show you this. So. Recently, did y'all hear Diddy a uh, new statement? Diddy denies anything. Let's see if y'all believe. Him. I want to hear what y'all say. This is Diddy up to the minute statement. Now, Sean Diddy Combs vehemently denied any wrongdoing Tuesday after Monday's raid on his properties in Los Angeles and Miami by federal agents, calling it an unprecedented ambush and decrying the premature rush to judgment it would lead to. Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences, attorney Aaron Dyer said in a statement to the Daily News on behalf of the musician and producer. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, whose armed agents had conducted the search in coordination with other law enforcement personnel, did not release any more information on Tuesday than its terse statement on from the day before, saying it had executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation and would provide further information as it becomes available. Two sources close to the investigation but not authorized to speak publicly told the Associated Press and other outlets that the search was related to sex trafficking allegations being levied against Combs in New York. Authorities did not say whether Combs himself was the subject of the investigation. Aerial footage from Los Angeles had shown several people in handcuffs. HSI had not confirmed any arrests as of Tuesday afternoon. Combs' representatives flagged the lack of arrests and countered that the show of force had been completely unnecessary. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way, Dyer's statement said. This unprecedented ambush, paired with an advanced, coordinated media presence, leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Flight tracking data had revealed that Combs' private plane had been flown from California to Antigua on Monday morning, though Combs was spotted in Miami later that day as the raids were taking place, people reported. 
While authorities did not specify the investigation's target, the musician is named in at least four lawsuits alleging sexual assault by him and others. In December, after a spate of allegations, he denied all wrongdoing. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday, Combs posted on Instagram, after the slew of lawsuits against him landed. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. With news wire services. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my... That's another story. <laughs> That's another story. But, but, hey, he said he has not done anything. What y'all think? He said he's going to fight this. And, and, and Cheryl said she's traumatized about Mace. Yeah, that, that, that was a serious story at one time. But how it flew along, below the radar... I don't know how it flew. I don't know how it flew below the rate. I don't know how how that how that story got away. It, it's it's the story was everywhere. Do you know what I mean? But it never got real steam for some reason. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Mace uh, Puffy must have had everything on lock then because remember back then you had uh, uh, um, magazines. There wasn't no internet, so you could really clean a story up. Uh, in two thousand seven, I think you probably could clean the story up pretty good, you know what I mean? Um, let me see. It's two stories. Here's the second story. So the first story was the hotel. And let me see if I can find this. The, the, they try to, they try to uh, smash the internet off with these stories. But the first story was a hotel that I just showed earlier. earlier. And the second story I'm about to show you now uh, when he got in a car accident. Anybody remember that story? Yeah, Uriah. J Lo definitely got low. J Lo, J Lo wasn't playing around. J Lo was not playing around. Uriah. J Lo was like, man, we're not gonna play these games. Soon she seen the the the, the, the craziness, she ain't played with that. She ain't played with that. But now let me let me show you this real quick before I hang up my brother Uriah. Um Check this. I want to find this story real quick. And this just show you that this stuff is not new. It's new to a lot of us, but it's not new. This is, they try to scrub the net. Rapper Mace involved in a car crash in Atlanta, Georgia last week as he allegedly attempted to pick up a transvestite. The G-Unit affiliate is reported to have been driving around the Spring Street area in Atlanta just after midnight on Friday. <clears throat> you feel what I'm saying? Trying to look for a companion for the night. This was reported uh, uh, a few years ago. Um, For the night. But Mace, a born-again Christian, who is also known as Dr. Mason Bethel, ran into trouble when he crashed into the back of a woman's Range Rover. Reports claim official arrived on the scene shortly after the incident occurred and Mace refused to cooperate until authorities uh, threatened to impound his car. The unnamed victim later appealed on a radio station, WHTA, and told Ryan Cameron Morning Show, the trans came running up to the car saying, girl, 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 we seen what happened. We seen everything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's like five or six of them because they was working. So they ran up to the car saying, girl, are you okay? <laughs> As he was riding, circling around here four times, already trying to pick one of these queens up. <laughs> Said Mace was riding around there trying to pick up one of them queens, they say. That was the new report said. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Can you believe this? And now everybody on Diddy, when they was all, they all in the same gang. Y'all remember that old song? In the same gang. They all in the same gang. 
Yes, indeed. Oh, man, this is ridiculous. <laughs> anybody, anybody watch Ricky Smiley Morning Show with uh with the uh with the guy with the T? <laughs> that sounds like guy with the T. <laughs> Talking about the Queens. <laughs> oh, press seven if y'all watch Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Y'all listen to it. <laughs> the guy with the T. <laughs> We talk about his buddies, he call them queens. I said, Cook, God is a queen. We can't listen to this going to school, baby. <laughs> Y'all can't listen. We we try to listen to some Smokey Robinson. They talk about the queens. <laughs> nah, buddy. <laughs> but I like how Ricky Smiley keep it real, and I like how Gary keep it real, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mr. C like the queens. I heard about that. I mean, this is crazy, man. This is some crazy stuff, man. Would you believe that we was rocking to this music back in the day, having no clue that these people was on some different type stuff, man? <laughs> Shaka Zulu, what's up, brother? Man, can you believe that, man? These people was on some different type of stuff back in the day. Unbelievable that we would actually be... Shh, do you know, so it says Diddy, like we all thought that Diddy took off to Antigua. When in fact, when in fact, I think that it was a, it could have possibly been a diversion. Or, you know, the story is, is that when they locked up the, the European Bruce, they was about to abort a private plane, him and Diddy. Him and Diddy was about to abort, abort a, 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 another plane. So they could have had people believing that they were on that plane or some other people was on that plane and they was getting on another plane. But before they could get on the plane, according to reports, they locked the European up and they found some drugs on them. You know what I'm saying? But that plane could have been a diversion. You know what I'm saying? So so it's like it's like Diddy right now is just a sitting duck in traffic, to to be honest. That's what it appears to be. You know what I mean? Now, one report came out today uh, that they also found some electronic equipment in the search. You know what I mean? It said electronic devices uh, seized in the sex ex-African investigation against Sean Diddy. They say they do got some stuff. Now, remember the in the report that I just read a few minutes ago, it says that they had devices all throughout the house. You follow me? Michael Connor said his name was on the manifest, but he wasn't on the plane when it landed. Exactly. He was still in Miami, but there was another plane that they was about to board when the guy, Bruce, uh, the, the mule, end up getting locked up today. I don't know if it was today. It was that day. You know what I mean? Now, with that being said, um, man, this is some this is some heavy stuff right here. This is some heavy stuff right here. Real talk. You know what I mean? This is this is a, a report that I seen somewhere, man. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I just read the court documents uh about the allegations from Lil Rod about Diddy and uh it looks like Epstein level uh exposing of the rap industry right now. It names names, he, he he has photos, he has physical evidence, he has f audio recordings, uh, literally everything from uh, Diddy being involved in murders, Diddy being involved in sexual assault, grooming, uh, drugging people. It even goes so far to name Cuba Gooding Jr. as being involved in, in all of this. Um, it has some redacted names. They seem to be uh, about Meek Mill and Chris Brown, but uh, again, they're redacted, so you can't be 100% sure, but the things that are said about them seem to indicate that those are the people that they're talking about and uh, indicating that those people were having sex with underage girls. There is a whole 
bunch of allegations of how Diddy would use his positions of power to sexually assault males and then blackmail them uh, into not saying anything because obviously like homophobia inside the rap industry is very prevalent so uh, the um, allegations are, are, are that he would blackmail uh, people underneath him by saying like oh I recorded this and I will show it to everybody if even 10% of what is is alleged inside of this this court document is true uh, they need to put Diddy under the jail and 50 Cent is gonna have the best time talking about this over the next month And that is the document that we was reading part of today. Um, I don't want to read the whole thing, man. The thing is so big. How many pages is that document? That's a huge document. That's a huge document. It's a lot. Let me see. It's 73 pages long. So, I mean, even reading it right now, um, we just got to <laughs> be patient. And just look at, we could just look at some of the names because I went through it. And here goes some of the names that's in the document. So they got names, photos, physical evidence, audio and video recording. This is why I was telling somebody today that um, they necessarily don't have to find much at Diddy House because those who making the accusations claiming that they have all the evidence that the authorities need and they will provide it to the authorities. So you got names, photos, physical evidence, audio and video recordings. They say he's committed the M word, the S word on brothers. Somebody say you got to look into Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider. I got to remember that Dan Schneider. Um, grooming, trafficking, it's, it mentions Cuba Gooding Jr., Meek Mill, and we already know about that in Chris Brown, and with the underage girls, and with the underage girls. Now, this is all in the report that I was reading. Again, every so often as, as this case uh, unfolds, I'll keep going to page after page uh, to, as it associates with the, the uh, subject matter as I did with the guy Bruce today. Um, but one of the things that a friend pointed out to me today is that um oh that in antigua the age of consent ironically is it used to be 14 but now it's 16 years of age so i mean I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Are we grabbing for straws and say, man, he went there because he's been there before and he was permitted to do things there that he couldn't do here? How, how does that actually work? Okay, uh, the guy from Nickelodeon, Dan Schneider. Snyder. Oh, we're going to look him up. We definitely going to look him up. We'll cover that story soon. We'll cover that story soon. We're going to cover all these stories, man. I think these are... I think these are tragic stories, but I think they need to get more light on these internet highways, um, even if they get a lot, but they should stay in people's face because this is insane right here. Like if, if someone going to an uh, going to Antigua just for the sake of you, the certain age of consent, I think that's a little bit, a little bit extreme. Somebody said, LOL, watch your voice. What does that mean? Watch your voice. You making me nervous, Thurman Smart. What that mean? What happened? Hold up, Thurman. What are you talking about? Watch your voice. That sound cryptic. Oh, so so let me tell you how this trafficking work, right? The way that this trafficking work is. Say, for instance, and a brother, I was talking to a brother about that today. Uh, say, for instance, if Diddy has girlfriends, you follow what I'm saying? Say he has girlfriends and they are on tour with him and they choose to, you know how they how them rappers always talk about sharing 
uh, women and all of that type of stuff. Well, the moment that they travel to another state and they share a woman, that can be considered as ex trafficking. You see what I'm saying? Like, say if a person like, these are my girls, these are my girls. And then, like, I'm going to give you one, I'm going to give you one. I've seen rappers talk like that. As a matter of fact, there's a story about how ODB uh, demonstrated something like that at a concert. Now, they didn't go across state lines, but they was at a hotel after a concert. ODB came in with a bunch of women, and he was like, you ain't got no girl? Hey, you go with him. Hey, you go with him. You go with him. You go with him. I think they was talking about that on Drink Champs. Now, imagine that. If you're on a tour bus and you get a bunch of groupies to go from state to state to state and you swapping them out. Um, that's where a lot of these uh, crimes going to start coming from. You know, all of that old bragging, all of that. You know how them rappers used to do that? You know what I mean? We flip flops like flapjacks, but we don't love them when it's like that. Remember Snoop Dogg used to say that? Every little city I go, every other video, I see the same. Do you remember that? Uh-huh. Well, some of these would travel with them state to state. I, I, I would, I would, uh, 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 would imagine. Um, but that's how some of these charges are going to happen if they want to get some people, or if somebody come back later disgruntled and they they fit inside the um, what they call uh, the 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 you know, the, the statute of limitation. Um, yeah, yeah. So ain't no telling who might pop up in some of these things. You know, right now, times is hard. Times is hard right now. Yeah, times is hard right now. Anybody might pop up and say, yeah, I was with such and such on this date, and then we went from uh, uh, Nevada to L.A., and he told me to be with this person. I need me 30 mil. Yeah. Uh huh. We flip flops, sir, like Pap Jacks, but we don't love them. And it's like that. Oh, yeah, it was all good a week ago. Oh, yeah, you could talk that stuff back then. That's it, man. It's going full circle now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what happened to um Young MA, Young Miami, I mean to say? What happened to Young Miami? I ain't heard nothing from her. What happened to Young Miami? I ain't heard. I ain't heard of nothing from Young Miami since Diddy since things that heated up. Did you know I mean? Suge Knights makes a statement. He says, "People, these raids today wasn't for Diddy. It was to destroy the incriminating stuff on powerful men." Epstein, Diddy, Clive Davis. That hey. That could be a possibility. But I'm of the thought that if they're going to spend all of these resources, y'all seen all of these people. That's a lot of resources. Man, they got to gas up all of these tanks. They got to pay all of these salaries. They get, man, from Florida. Nah, I, I don't know. I don't know. This just, this just doesn't seem like, this seem like we're going to go and get all of this evidence. But, hey. Suge been in those circles, uh, so Suge may know something that we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so Suge may know something that we don't know, but I'm going to tell you, that's a lot of resources. You know what I mean? That's a whole lot of resources. Um, So I guess we'll see about that. Let me see. Uh, Who is this here? Oh, this is one of the... Robin Greenhill, the accountant would ensure the wiring funds transfer of cash payments for ex-workers. Frankie Centella, Moy Bond, Brandon Paul, and KK will also be responsible for ensuring uh, payments to ex-workers in cash. Young Miami, Jade, Daphne Joy were paid monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' ex-workers and receive payment via Wire transfer from Robin Greenhill. Outline defendants' ongoing criminals' operations. So was Young Miami his girl, or was she the madam and the worker, according to the the the, the criminal 
uh, not the criminal, my apologies, according to the civil complaint, according to the civil complaint, Young Miami, Young Miami was a part of the X ring. But he was looking like, as they say in the pimp world, that she was the bottom one, you know what I'm saying? Ain't that what they call the one that got the most power? That's my bottom. I think that's what they call it. I never, I don't know too much about that game, but yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. I bought his book when he became a pastor. Okay, but he was over there pastoring, but he was over there with, uh, over there with the, with the, with the queens. I mean, yeah, that's what it seemed. Young and May was the madam bringing the girls, and she was the bottom one. Yeah. Young Miami was on salary of like 200 k a month. Good goodness of gracious. Good goodness of gracious. I, man, look, I, look, I'm showing this stuff for the first time. Hey, family, I'm seeing this stuff for the first time myself. I'm serious. I'm. I, I doing, I'm doing the research, but I'm pulling it up. And, I mean, this might be the second time because after I see it. But this stuff is surprising to me. This stuff is super surprising to me. I'm like, wow, bro, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy for real. Hey, family, did y'all hear about the bridge in Baltimore? Family, I want to do a show on this bridge in Baltimore. Many people, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist, but I got to break this thing down to y'all tomorrow. I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. Or I might pre-record it and upload it Friday. You know what I mean? It's not something that I usually cover, but it's definitely exposing some fraud. <coughs> it's definitely exposing some fraud because I've, I've when it happened, you know, I looked at a lot of factors and I smell something fishy going on. And I ain't talking about the water, but did y'all hear about the bridge collapse? Right here in Baltimore, y'all hear about that? I smell something fishy going on and uh, my research uh, antennas went up and I found something that didn't sit right. Yeah. I found something that didn't sit right. I hope y'all... I think I might, I got to do, I got to do the Russell show. So, um, y'all got to see this, 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 this research that I have about this bridge thing, it might blow your mind. It may blow. See, I'm here in Baltimore. So I like have access to, um, s some footage and psh, yeah, it might blow your mind family. It might blow your mind that it seems to be the same game that they were playing. Um, it seems to me that the same game that they played with 9-11. And, you know, I don't like to, I, man, I really do not like to get in the conspiracy theory type of thing. That's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? However, this is what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like. It's definitely looking like something ain't right. You know what I mean? It's definitely looking like something ain't right. You know what I mean? And one thing I want to show y'all is, I don't know how y'all feel. How y'all feel about, um, how y'all feel about on the on the spot reporting? Like, I won't do it on the spot. I'll bring some of it to the show. You know, I was riding down the street today, and I was at this corner. Uh, Pennsylvania and, and 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 Lawrence, I think, here in, here in Baltimore, and it's super 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 hood. You know what I mean? So I'm at the corner. It's like the middle of the day, and I'm seeing all of these young brothers on the corner, and I'm like, it's a lot of young brothers out here right now. So while I'm at the light, one young brother, I see him push like you know what I mean somebody that's not doing doing so well you know what I mean life ain't life ain't treating them too good or they ain't treating themselves too good you know what I mean like just rough them off push them in the street whatever so I make the left as soon as I make the left I hear pop 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 
You know what I'm saying? I was like, ah, oh, man. Somebody said, GS, did you see the lights turn off? The lights turned off? What lights turned off? My lights turned off? But hold on one second. Let me show you something. So look, it was, it was, it was, I mean, I was, I was, let me, let me see if I, let me see if I can, um, somebody said we need independent journalism. Okay. Let me see. Hold on one second. Let me show y'all something. Man. If y'all want some raw independent journalism. Hold up. I'm going to just show y'all a little bit. It's kind of sad now. This is this is this is what goes on in, in Baltimore. Let me see. Let me show y'all real quick. If y'all want some real journalism, hold up, let me see, let me see. Um, let me turn the line real quick. There it is. All right, check this out. If y'all want some real journalism, this is what you're gonna get. Let me see. It's kind of sad, but this is why when people talk crazy, I don't be tripping. But it's kind of sad. Look. Yeah, it's kind of sad. You know, they, 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 somebody shot this, this guy right inside of a store in the middle of the day. Pardon me. In the middle of the day. Right in the middle of the day. I mean, right in the middle of the day. It was, it was, it was sad. It, I mean, they was they was pumping on his chest coming out. You know what I'm saying? But um, I be on, I be, I be, I be in the thick of stuff that's going on, and I was like, man, I'm gonna start reporting some of these stories and try to inspire some of these young brothers. I mean. Got to give it a shot. Got to give it a shot. Because I'll be seeing things right as it happened a lot of times. Um, no, I was tripping on the way you were reading when the trans ran to the lady car. Keep, keep it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. So that's one thing. I'm, I might be bringing some raw stories. And just bring them at the beginning of my broadcast while I'm waiting for people to come in. And maybe not so music, and maybe we can inspire somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because man, somebody, these children got parents, man, and these children they uh, 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 depend on us. You know what I'm saying? They depend on us. I mean, even if even if they're not uh, necessarily uh, your child in particular, you know, they depend on us at the end of the day. And that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Uh, where you live at, whether you live in the inner city, whether you live in the um, in the in the, in the, um, in the suburbs, or you know, what I mean, I don't care if you're in the grocery store, I don't care if you're in the neighborhood, I don't care if you had a basketball game. When y'all see something ready to kick off, you know, it's our responsibility to say, "Ho, ho, ho!" Pump the brakes, pump the brakes, because in today's world, like, won't nobody say nothing, won't nobody say a word today. You know, what I mean, in like five minutes, you know, what I mean, in the course of five minutes, two minutes at the light turning going up the street and pow two minutes to come back and they trying to revive uh the brother so with that being said family um i think i'm gonna give you on on the spot uh broadcast too um tomorrow i guess i gotta bring
Somebody said, leave NYC out that. Yeah, this was right inside of a corner store. In New York, they would call it a bodega. We call it a corner store here. You know what I mean? Because most, most of the stores, not most of them, I guess, many of them are on the corner. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got to get our brother tomorrow. I just wanted to get, now if some updates come, uh, now if, now if, now if Puff, uh, uh, P. Diddy happened to, uh, get himself in some handcuff mess, then, uh, yeah, we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to, uh, cover that. You know what I mean? We're going to have to cover that. Um, fam, this been a double day today. You feel me? This been a double day today and, uh. It's a beautiful thing that it was a double day. Y'all catch my morning broadcast? Did y'all catch it? If y'all ain't catching the morning broadcast, then I ain't gonna see no reason to keep on doing these things. You know what I mean? So, 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 family, go back and check my morning broadcast of breaking news. If we got breaking news, I'm going live in the morning. I'm going live in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I want to uh, make sure that y'all get all the information that you need. Um, so we can influence change because I believe that the more popular that the channel gets, the more we can influence people towards a positive end. That's 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 my philosophy. I think I think the more people know of Moorish World TV, the more we have a chance to influence people to a positive end. You know what I mean, you said you crossed that bridge last week, Thurman. Hey, Thurman, let me ask you a question. Thurman, are you are you? Melanated or not? Huh? Are you a melanated brother or are you a lighter shade of brown? Because I told people every day. Thank you, Jasmine, for watching. I tell people uh, earlier today that we don't really frequent that bridge. I hope I wasn't reaching. We'd rather go through the tunnel, through the tunnel. We don't really freak with that bridge. That bridge and going up on that bridge, it looks like it's standing on stilts. What up, BTK killer? Listen, that bridge looked like it's standing on stilts. Real talk. When you approach it, it's just like... Okay, if you approach this from the um, Anne Arundel County side, 695, and when you approach that demonstration, you just see up, and it just looked like it's standing on stilts. My mother's like, I don't like that bridge. Nah, man, I don't like that bridge. My mother will always say, I don't like that bridge. And so a lot of that area right there is industrial too. You know what I mean? I mean, a lot of that area is industrial, but I got some some research that I'm going to bring about the whole incident. It's looking real funny right now. I'm being patient, but it's looking real funny. It's looking real funny. So with that being said, family, I was outside today, man. I think I think it was feeling good today. I think I got some allergies today. It was feeling real good today. And then I got a headache out of nowhere. Now my nose feels stuffy. I get allergies real easy. Somebody said, I'm from Harlem. I've been in the hood all my life. I'm about to do, hey, hey sure. I'm about to do a lecture uh, in NYC soon. And I'm thinking of Harlem of all places. I, I want to do a lecture there talking about um, uh, Morris, Morris science, uh, pan-Africanism, and the path up out of uh, slavery. You know what I mean? Like independence, the path towards independence. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet because when you hear Morris Science, the, 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 the connotation that these weirdos gave it on the internet uh, kind of make me skeptical, skeptical of using that in the title. But basically what I'm talking about is how to get out this matrix. That's what it's all about. It's all about. If I did something in NYC, anybody in NYC, would y'all come and support the lecture in NYC? Um, I definitely would probably try to do it in Harlem or um, Harlem, Brooklyn, something like that. But probably with Harlem. I like Harlem. Um, would y'all come and support it? Who, who going to come and support it? Give me two sevens if y'all going to come and support um, 
I know I got one I got going on in Maryland, here in Baltimore in April. I have one that I'm I'm going to be working on to be doing in D.C. And then after that, I, I would like to bring it to NYC. You know what I mean? I would like to bring it to NYC. And I'm going to bring the whole thing. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to bring the music. I'm going to bring the whole thing. I'm going to bring the slideshows. I'm going to bring the whole thing. Yeah, Stephen X said for sure. Yeah, I'm going to bring the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Only thing I got to make sure is that the place is right, the security is right, and so I can focus on uh, showing people the path towards liberation. Because the problem is I'm real controversial. You know what I mean? What's up, Eden Blackman? Um, I'm real controversial. And I don't believe that all of these groups are actually fighting to get us up out of the matrix. I'm of the thought that many of us are keeping us in the matrix. And I'm talking about whether it be the NOI, whether it be uh, people calling themselves more Science Temple of America, the church, the Indian. I believe many of them are trying to keep us in the matrix under the guise that they're trying to get us out of the matrix. I mean, for real. I do believe that. I believe that for organizations that have been around for so long that if they haven't built one community, with uh, their own projects that they own control that after so long, you know, NOI been around since the 30s, uh, the More Science Temple of America been around since the late 20s, um, and those who are calling themselves trying to get us out the matrix and they haven't built one square mile of a community that they control uh, every aspect of that community, I can't believe that you're really trying to get us out the matrix. And so my lecture would be founded upon the fact of the matter that if we really want to get out the matrix, this is what we must do and this is how we do it. There's plenty of blueprints around, around the world uh, where people started off uh, as micro communities and they ultimately turned into micro uh, countries or micro governments and then micro uh, turned into macro. And so you can see them today. Uh, I'll give you a prime example. Yes, they got plenty of help from European, from their European counterparts. Uh, uh, the state of Israel is one of them. You know what I mean? They got plenty of help. Uh, no doubt, make no mistake about it. And a lot of people would, uh, would 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 make the argument that they did it unlawful. However, when I look at things, I look at the silver lining of a thing. You know what I'm saying? What I look at is I say, okay, if people would come together and say we need a piece of land, and I'm talking about here in America. I ain't talking about you. Ain't talking about going nowhere else. I ain't talking about going no Ghana. I ain't talking about going no uh 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 um. No, 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 nowhere else. I'm talking about right here in America. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way in the world that my forefathers and foremothers, uh, blood, sweat, and tears that went into building this, and now I'm going to walk away. Nah, uh 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 We're going to build something right in the midst of this demonstration and work towards accumulating as much as we can until we can get to some independence. But nevertheless, the whole thing in a nutshell is, is that there is a path to that if we really want it. I don't know if people really want it, though. I think a lot of us comfortable. Like here in Baltimore, we got the fattest homeless people on the planet. You know what I mean, we got the chubbiest homeless people on the planet probably. They eating good. They eating good. You know what I mean, I, I'm telling you, they got, in, in Baltimore, we a tennis shoe city. The first thing people look at when, you, when they walk up on you in, in the city, first thing they do is they look at your feet. If you ain't got on no fresh kicks, you might not get no respect. Now, I'm telling you, it is what it is. The first thing they're going to look at, it, they go, when they walk up to you, the first thing they're going to do, they're going to look at you in the face and look down. They're going to see what you got on your feet. The homeless people got on fresh shoes here in Baltimore. I'm trying to tell you. They got on airs and everything. Yeah, yeah. So we might be too spoiled to want anything else right now. We might be too spoiled. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go, you can go, you can go into a a a, 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 a soup kitchen, as they call them, and you can really get a fancy three, four course meal. I'm talking about grandma mac and cheese. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I used to volunteer in these places. Shoot, 
Man, let me tell you, you can go in there once a day and get a fancy good old meal. And then they give you a paper bag lunch to walk on out there for the nighttime. That's right. They got places. I don't know if they got them in, in, in New York, uh, but in Baltimore, they got places where if somebody need a place to stay, you might just need to come up with $2 and they got a bed. First come, first serve. So that is the at the lower end of the spectrum. But at the at the higher end of the spectrum, you know what I mean? Like it's plenty of jobs out here. People claim that it's not. It's plenty of jobs out here. I walk the family dollar uh in the hood. Dude, dude got tattoos all over his face, but he punching that clock. I'm talking about you can't even see his can't even see his his, his facial features. Uh, how can I help you? Thank you, brother. So, so I mean, it's the it's plenty of work out here, but it's people ready to do what's out there. That's that's the issue. That's the issue. Is it, it all is people ready to do what's out there? I mean, our Thurman Smart said, "Yeah, he have to when he deliver loads." Okay, yeah. So yeah, if you got it, and then now over there, as I said that's an industrial area. So so yeah, of course. But anyway, I'm rambling along, family. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, be here tomorrow for the next presentation. Like I say, if it's breaking news, then I got to deal with the Diddy thing because I want to keep on this thing uh, and see what happens. You know what I mean? Somebody say, I have a Jewish client in Beverly Hills working with other Jewish partners, buying up real estate like crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, man. Um, I, I wish I could have uh, people who were set and ready to rock and roll. You know what I mean, everybody is just not ready though. Every some people are like, man, I'm not giving up this for that. You know what I mean, everybody just not ready. It's sad. You know what I mean? But you can't do it by yourself. You know what I mean? Like like no man is an island unto themselves. You cannot claim that you want to build a community, you want to build a nation and you just going by yourself. You know what I mean, nah, you need a couple family. You need some dedication. You need some structure, you know what I mean? You need a board. You need some generals that at at, at, at at the bare minimum got some heart just in case. But it seems like we spoiled in a lot of ways. But with that being said, family, appreciate your family. Come on, man. And I see y'all tomorrow, and we're going to do it one more time. You feel me? We're going to do this one more time. I hope y'all share this like this uh thumbs up this um so we can keep this uh thing going you know what I mean? and i'm yeah. almost ready there to get my music back like i'm trying to be your friend man i'm almost there i'm trying to be your friend bro i think this is, i think this help I me out i think out. this setup is pretty good meet me halfway come on i wanna i wanna i wanna be your friend peace and love let me be your friend peace Thank and love for i said you ain't never met a more like me and you ain't Another calling us Neanderthal, and he 